Ah. Jeff, this menu means business. This menu was <laughs> aggressive. I don't. <laughs> this menu is in your face. I did not need that. No? Maybe I did. I don't know. You know what you need? What? Three playable factions. Wait, that's ridiculous. Why would there be three playable factions in a video game? In this who real time, that? Who, who would want to play all three races in their real time strategy game? Yeah, it's the GDI, the Nod, and then what? The Scrin? Uh, no. Hey, StarCraft 2 is out. All right, finally, StarCraft, StarCraft 2, 2 is out. Finally came out. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's the seven years after it was announced? I, Eight uh, years? I don't know. I Eight lost track of time. I feel like we announced? launched this site thinking about StarCraft 2. Yeah, it's and true. And now we can shut it down. We were in our second office by the time the first StarCraft 2 came out. Uh, sure. Yeah. Three playable factions. Okay, you got uh, this guy. Uh-huh. This is Jimmy. That's Jimmy. Yep, this is, I just want to introduce you to Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess you remember Kerrigan. Yeah, she's been through some things. StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. The final... <coughs> Pardon you're, me. You were just like, man. You're, you're getting sick just thinking about how excited you are. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sick of my yourself. stomach because StarCraft 2 is finally complete. <laughs> uh, yeah, the third the third final thing is out for yeah. StarCraft 2. It is whole now. Remember how angry people were when they announced yeah. that it was going to be three separate games? Yes. And I then do. somewhere around game two, I think everyone who could have been angry about it just kind of gave up on caring about StarCraft yeah, completely. Yeah, that seems to have been the case. What a weird thing. What a Which weird turn of events. Kind of a shame, because this thing's really good. It's turning out. I didn't even know I was excited for it until I started playing it. And then I was like, holy crap, this is better than expected. Yeah. Um, okay. So it's the, it's the finale of the StarCraft yes. II story. It's I, the Protoss campaign. Yes, right? it is. It's, you know, like, I, I'm I'm sad that, like, the original thing that came out called StarCraft II didn't feel like a full StarCraft game in the sense that it didn't have all the races. Mm -hmm. But I, I really like the way they were able to focus on one race and come up with a bunch of crazy, unique mechanics for it. Yeah, yeah, each that, campaign. Stuff, that stuff wasn't bad. Like, I ended neat. up enjoying yeah. the episode one campaign. I didn't finish episode two. Uh, that, that stuff is really fun to mess with, but it is it is a shame to not have had all that stuff there at your disposal. But whatever, it's here now. Let's play some of it. Okay. Uh, also, I, I really, well, you know what, we'll get back to it later. I was going to say, I like uh, I like the way they've packaged all the content that has come out in the last, like, five freaking years for StarCraft II. <laughs> uh, but we'll, uh, we'll get into it. Legacy of the Void. Uh, they've got this three-mission uh, prologue campaign that came out like a month or two ago. Right. If you, you pre-ordered yeah. the game, you could get into this three-mission little thing. Mm. I, I did not mess with that. I just played through it uh, yeah. in the course of this stuff. But you play through that, and then you get into the real thing. Um, let's just jump in. Where's my save? This is like, I think this is the end of the third or fourth mission of this main campaign. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just get up in here and do stuff. Your graphic settings changed. Ah, you know, this <clears throat> work machine is better than my machine at home, you know. That's how it goes. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea what's going on here at all? All right. Uh, Jim Rayner and the other Earth guys. Uh -huh. There's a precur Okay, there's a precursor race. Yep. The Okay, I'm going to say what's going to happen, even though I don't necessarily know what happens in this one. Everyone's going to have to work together to take out an evil threat. An ancient evil? The Zell Naga, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, basically. A marvel of Kalai engineering. That's not, well, whatever, I don't know where this is going. Great but I wouldn't be surprised. But isn't that the thing? Like in episode two at some point, then they're like, oh, the Zerg oh, and the yeah. humans have to work together, yeah, and no, Kerrigan's no. the perfect half-human, yes. half-Zerg to yes. make it happen. Yep, they're definitely teaming up. It's about to be a three-way team-up for sure. Uh, I think they've been stepping it up with the cutscenes in this. Like the real-time stuff. I mean, obviously Blizzard's CG department is like second to none, right? Sure, yeah, yeah. Uh, but even their in-game stuff, I feel like, has gotten a little more cinematic here. Uh, also, they're cutting off... They're cutting off the noble aliens' dreadlocks. What? Why? That's how the ancient evil takes control of them. Dreadlocks? Through their nerve cords. Those dreadlocks? Like that dude's got? No, I guess the ones in the front aren't a big deal. <laughs> it's just the big thick one in the back. Uh, if you can see the back of their heads, see how it's cut off there? They've yeah. Had, they've had their nerve cords severed so that the bad guy can't take control anymore. Oh. Yeah. What? Uh-huh. Oh. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. Uh, yeah, so this is the point, literally the point in the story where I get my ship and, like, access the metagame, you know? Cool. All right. Like, uh... That's kind of been the thing about these campaigns, you know, as they focused on each one race, they were able to gin up a bunch of, like, you know, campaign-specific mechanics that didn't exist in the multiplayer to kind of make things more interesting. You know? Right, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and that's really, you know, that, all that my only interest in StarCraft 2 has been in the campaign. Right, you need you know, something. Like I, I can't. If you're not going to get on the ladder, and I don't know that I recommend it at this point. Yeah. Uh, you need some meat in the campaign, and these games definitely have it. Uh, let's go to Core Hall. You know, they've got the thing where, you know, they'll give you a couple different mm -hmm. branches of the campaign you can follow. But you kind of end up time. doing both. Yeah, you'll, you'll, yeah. You'll, have, you'll definitely have to do both, <laughs> although once you pick one, you seem to be kind of locked into it until you do that set of missions. Oh, okay. Let's go here. Liars. Stellar cartography looks great. I know, right? They got a budget. They got yeah. an effects budget for it. You know, first time out in movie theaters. Mm -hmm. This shall not stand. The Terrans of Core Hall have in their possession the Zelda Terrans, huh? Keystone, which Zeratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Let's just go. I have not seen Commander. Commander Rayner. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. By the way, shit's just happening in this. <laughs> well, at this point, it's the, are... it's the third chapter, yeah. right? Everything is so set into motion. Like, the that... crazy galactic war is happening, for sure. But, like, like things are popping off. That in... was pretty badass. Yeah, right? Things are really popping off in this expansion. <laughs> this is Commander James Raynor. Artanis. There. Ain't you a side Ah, oh, man, Stark, I've got all fancy. This is Commander <laughs> James Raynor. Back in my day. Yeah. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been struck. Dr. Naruto. <laughs> Funny you should mention that because parts of this thing get full on Dragon Ball Z. I know that. You know, not to say that Naruto is part of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. But, but it's similar. Because I know somebody in the comments will scream about that. Hey, all anime uh, is one anime. We right. all know that. There's yeah. only one anime. Yeah. It's about a woman who goes out to eat meals uh -huh. after work okay. and have a drink, and there it's like these short, bite-sized episodes, and right. that's it. That's okay. it. And then somebody fights. No, nope, that's it. No? Oh, okay. We will ensure that I was told there would be fighting. Engage their fleet and keep their yeah, some of the... They got into this a little bit in uh, Heart of the Swarm. In fact, there's a cutscene in Heart of the Swarm where... Two characters each shoot their own energy beams at each other, uh -huh. and the beams meet. Oh, well. and they're straight up through force of will, just pushing the the beams back and forth at each other. Jeez. You know? yeah, well, sure, it why is not? Full on anime, uh, and there's a fair amount. And this of that. is a weird. This feels like a weird prog rock album cover or something. It's just like <laughs> the, the members of your band, like just the drummers in the back, <laughs> bass player yep. up here yep. with the lead singer. Totally. It's just like. We're here on the it precipice. Has drawn us together once again. Looking out over a cliff. Yeah. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We protest. It's bullshit. <laughs> and know there is a grander design behind them. Wait, hang on. How's he talking to Rainer without a mouth? The results. The same. I don't know. The same way he's got backwards echo on his voice. Mm. It just that's. That's because he's talking with his talking mind. With his mind. The keystone, he called it. We need a case of keystone. Jim Rayner, I know you've got my back on this. <laughs> the last case in the galaxy. The last case of stones. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. My life for these keystones. There was only one way this quest of his was going to end. His loss. All right, enough, John. Let's get out of here. Uh, this is awesome. Well, hang on. Let's watch another cutscene first. A preserver released from stasis. She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari. Uh huh. And your War Council advisor. You must be the executor. Cutscene budget went way down when we realized we didn't have to lip sync anything. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Corruption. So she says. Yeah, I mean, the story is what it is. It's kind of typical Blizzard at this point, you know. I don't even know what typical Blizzard is anymore. Uh, lots of people being corrupted, and then later redeemed. Personalities of ancient, ancient, ultimate evils pulling the strings from, okay. behind, from right. behind the scenes. Yeah, all right. Like you said, everybody else having to unite to fight them. It's Warcraft 3. We've talked about this before. Yeah. 
<clears throat> it's kind of the same thing. I it did not play much Warcraft 3. Oh, okay. On account of not liking it. It was exactly that. Yeah. It was literally exactly that. Um, and this is more of that. I don't know, they, they've gone so over the top with some of this stuff that I'm actually finding it hard to care that the story is, is kind of boilerplate. Because it's just so much fun to watch all this ridiculous shit happening. Hmm. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. You can click on things to upgrade your units. Yep. Basically. The assembly panel awaits Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. So this is awesome. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Okay. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent. Not permanent. Good. So what they did, especially in the first one, I, I guess they got away from this a little bit in the in the, in the Zerg one, but uh, you were making a bunch of choices on, like, a branching tree, right? right. yeah. And yeah. you were locked into them the second you made the choice, and you could never go back. You were missing entire units that you yep. could just never use yeah. because of the choices they made you uh, make. Uh, so that's all gone now. They basically just give you different versions of the units you already have that do, like, super crazy different things, like... These zealots can charge through your other units, which is a huge deal. Oh, yeah. uh, and then they stun the they stun the uh, the enemy units when they hit them. Uh, these guys have this AOE spin attack, which is also kind of a big deal. Hmm. Like you know, they're totally different use cases for these different abilities based right, on who yeah, you're fighting. Yeah. You know, and it looks like there's going to be a third faction at some point. It says complete more missions and unlock it. Um, but yeah, you can go back at any time and, and just change to one of the other versions of the unit, uh, which is super exciting. Uh, Let's go with these guys for now. Let's see what are these? These stalkers get shields back when you use blink. Uh, these ones have extra health. Do extra damage to armored units. All right. I'm gonna go with these guys. Anyway, I'm I'm really excited to see what the other yeah. options are here. That's a that's a way more interesting system to me than uh, in the past. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from mm. birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced... I got a really, I got a really fun camera angle on this conversation earlier. Really? When I so, watched it, but I don't know if it's going to happen again. Because of this gift, we were selected to enter stasis. I bet it's not going to happen. So that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one. Ah, there it kinda is. I got I got a close zoom in on her face right as those dudes were kinda jaunting along in the oh, background yeah. and it looked really fucking ridiculous. Anyway, those guys are gone. Let's get out of here. I guess let's go kill some stuff? Sure, yeah. Alright. Sky Shield's in serious trouble, old buddy. If we can't bring it back online, August Grad's gonna take a nuclear-sized impact. Mobius Corps soldiers are on the platform now, and those guys are suicidal. Rather die than let us stop them. All right, let's go. Anyway, what else is going on? Solarite, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll... It's kind of weird that they show you that, because I haven't actually unlocked that on this save. You'll find out more at the end of this mission. This ain't good. Sky Shield's not going to last much longer. At this rate, we've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah. Assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if he can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. Did you notice what difficulty I was on? Was it brutal? I did not. Oh god, I hope not. I didn't think to look. I don't know if I can find out here. No, I don't think I can. Eh, well, let's just roll with it. Man, I hope it wasn't brutal. 
This is gonna sound super thumb in the air, or pinky finger in the air, but like, Brutal is the only difficulty in these games that is really actually that hard. Mm. Like, uh... But that's only because you played a lot oh, that's of multiplayer that is, StarCraft That is a thousand percent too. because I played a lot of multiplayer. Uh, like, which, I think I played on normal and, yeah. and occasionally I, uh, ran into some problems right, in episode I, two. Sure, I, me I meant for me, yeah. uh, just or anybody who's played a ton of the, the online. But uh, How quickly did it come back? Because it's not like you're out there playing StarCraft 2 every no, day. Oh, no! I didn't even really play any multi- Oh, God. I didn't really even play any multiplayer off of the uh, last expansion. Yeah. Uh, like, faster, way faster than I expected, actually. Like, muscle memory just coming right back. Mm -hmm. uh, binding my Nexus to five. You know, like, making workers while I'm out there doing other stuff. Uh, like, kind of surprised, actually, uh, how easy it's been to get back into. Huh. Uh, anyway, so, so you know, they, every mission in these games, they've come up with some kind of interesting, unique mechanics, you know. And this one, I've got this timer. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if the timer runs out, the mission's over. But every time I take one of these things back, it adds, like, four extra minutes back. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <coughs> what? Abortment systems online. Prepare for orbital strike. Also, they're doing this. Ah. <laughs> also, they're just throwing cutscenes in the middle of missions. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and now I get to do that. It's like summons. Orbital strikes can now be fired from the Spear of Adun's command panel higher up. Does it do that every time you fire the orbital strike? Does Sadly, it, does it, does no. It, oh, man. Yeah. Kind of disappointing, but... You have not enough minerals. Uh, but yeah, so so you've got this, like, weapons panel up here now for your giant fuck-off Protoss mothership thing. Okay, yeah. Um, this just got energy that recharges. I can just, uh... Orbital strike. We are one. And then go in there and finish the job. Yep. Me too. Durability calculations updated. Commander, your construction vehicles can begin the repairs. Thanks, Artanis. My boys are putting a sensor tower here. Should alert you if Mobius Core swings through this area. Another ability you can just like instantly spawn a pylon anywhere on the map. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Need that thing. We should destroy it if possible. Completing bonus objectives will allow me to improve the Spear of the Dune's power level in the future. That is an insane thing for an in-game character to say out loud. <laughs> Press the I key for. Yeah, it's just that's really completing bonus objectives. That's weird. Yeah, kind of. Ah, I whatever. Guess. Ah, whatever. Games yes. do that all the time. <laughs> it's just funny. Sure. I don't know. was correct. These solar light reactors can be used to improve the solar core's energy output. I detect two more of these devices on the platform. If possible, you should seek them out. You have not enough minerals. Need more minerals. I walk the shadow. Money has been like a th the, the kind of the the gate on everything I've been doing so far in uh. this. Like they don't I don't know if it's because they don't seed the like the resource nodes with as much as much minerals as they used to. Mm. They've made a bunch of changes on the multiplayer side, and I don't know if that stuff may have actually bled into the campaign design. Huh. Um, where the uh, <clears throat> the multiplayer is intended to, I mean, it's it's to somebody who doesn't give a shit about the multiplayer, it's going to sound super esoteric, but uh, it's all intended to make the games move a lot faster. I can't go up there yet. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, that's that so like, seems like a good thing. You're starting with more supply. Like you're starting with way more workers than you used to. Uh, and, okay. So it's the, less about yeah that, that initial buildup of yes. just like getting workers yes. on the nose. Absolutely. So like yeah. the like kind of the joke about like competitive StarCraft was the first five minutes of the match. The casters were just sitting there, kind of like shooting the shit, right? Because yeah. there's nothing to talk about but watching the players literally build workers uh, and and mine shit. You know. So yeah. so that stuff's all gone now, and I don't know if that. Mobius stuff may have actually. Uh, our nexus point. I, need, I need more Rally gateways. Uh, I don't know if that stuff may have actually like come into the the campaign <coughs> in some <clears> way. <throat> Excuse me. 
Oops. Anyway, the point is, I mean, I've been playing everything on hard, uh, and I routinely find myself running out of money. Mm. You must construct additional pylons. Also, supply blocking myself constantly. You require my skill. Then I can just do that. Yeah, and it's great. You must construct additional pylons. Intriguing. Let's see, is this gonna work out? Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking good. I shouldn't have done that. Let's get out of here. I serve. Have you never played the Protoss at all? In in two? No, I guess not. Like, well, the the Terran um, campaign had like a little Protoss like weird interlude. In yeah, the I guess. It. Okay, so yes, I did you do might that. Have, you might have tried yeah. that. But I imagine that they must have changed things about which units you have access to here and stuff like that compared to that being just like that little interlude. Yeah, thing. I mean, I'm at the point in the campaign now where I can literally make two units, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, it's literally just like zealots and stalkers. Yeah, here. yeah. Whoa, hello. But that, I mean, you know, um, giving you oh, you know, it's the it's the typical eventual access yeah. to that stuff makes sense. It's the typical ramp. Um, anyway, the, the you know the big thing they changed from one was that you can turn your gateways into warp gates, you know. Yeah. And then just warp dudes instantly into any area where you've got pylons. Uh, it's really fun to finally play a campaign with those new mechanics, you know. Right. Yeah. Because that's what I, I always play Protoss in the multiplayer. Uh, and mm -hmm. to have those mechanics at my disposal for like five years there and never get to play an actual campaign with that stuff. Right. This siege tank is fucking me the fuck up. You should probably kill that thing. Yeah. There you go. Yay. All right. Revising durability estimates. Nice work. Got a repair crew inbound. Heads up. Looks like Mobius Core is starting to reinforce the stabilizers. Expect some heavier resistance. Oh, that's their actual base. I don't really need to go in there. Do it, man. All right, fine. Oh shit, they're fucking me up now. Uh oh. Ah. And I guess you're on a timer, so maybe yes. blowing up their bases, maybe not the. So you think I... you know? Hey, you want to prevent them from reinforcing their positions? Yes. Blowing up their base would probably do it. Especially, I have played through this mission once before, and especially like the the nagging annoyance of having them attack my base constantly. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you're right. We should just get this mission over with. Uh, at least get the racks. All right, fine. You called it a racks. You're ready to go. All right, good. I'm in. I get both racks. All right, let's get out of here. Leave them with some stuff. Leave them with some yep. survivors to tell the yes. tale. <laughs> exactly. About what just happened here. Uh, they've got all their achievements that they always do. Yeah. Uh, which are pretty detailed. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of screwing myself over because uh, one of the three... So there's three achievements for every mission, and one of them is always literally uh, tuned, or specifically tuned, I should say, for normal difficulty. Mm. Like, it always you know, literally spells out, do this on normal difficulty. So by playing on hard, you're like... It, they're pretty hard achievements to pull off on hard. Ah, you know, okay. like they're a cinch on easy, or, I mean, or on normal. Yeah, I mean... Um, and, and without those hot blizzard achievements, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, well, so the achievements in these games are pretty valuable because they unlock a bunch of, like, portraits right. and, like, yeah. skins for the units and stuff. But I guess that, like, that brings me to my actual... What I was actually getting at is, like... Are you going to get back into StarCraft II multiplayer what? in Probably the not. year 2015? Probably not. Year of Our Lord? Yeah. James Rayner, he is not. known as? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Like, that's... Probably not. The world changed around StarCraft Oh, no, II. no, you're not wrong like about that. Like, it launched into a world that was one way, yep. that was very favorable to StarCraft uh -huh. II, and, and the concept of multiplayer for StarCraft II, and then at some point, everything changed. Yeah, except for StarCraft. Except for StarCraft. Hey, you can't build that there. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, wait, that's, that's a friendly thing. Never mind. Um, you're, sure pissing Mobius you're not wrong. Like, I'm... I, the eh, but whatever. I mean, you know, there's a certain... It seems like this would be, like, a fun campaign, yes. regardless. Well, that's, you know, that's I, why, I still like RTS games. That's actually you know? why I would want to get the achievements. Like, it's... Because the achie or the campaign is fun. 
Okay. And I want to do what there is to do in the campaign. And the missions themselves, unless I play them on Brutal, are like, you know, they're interesting, but I'm just kind of steamrolling through. Yeah. Um, <coughs> oh, you fuckers. Oh, this is going to go bad for me. And they got people in your stuff. Yeah. You should probably... I guess I have to come back. Come back and... Uh, it's so tedious. Video games, am I right? Yep. They're the worst. Uh-huh. Gotta walk across the map. Jesus, just fast travel, God. If I had a town portal scroll, perhaps. Yeah. All right. I should maybe build some cannons there. There you go. Uh, you can't see it yet, but there's this new thing called a shield battery, which recharges the shields of everything around it. Yeah. So it's one of the new units that they've made. Uh, I, I just haven't seen most of that stuff, you know, because the um, the prologue campaign has none of that stuff in it. Mm. And then I just unlocked the metagame stuff here, so... It seems long. It seems like, you know, it's a full-length campaign. It's like 1920 missions, something like that. Okay, yeah. So... I mean, send it, send it out right. Yeah. Uh... I've heard a lot of crazy shit about what happens later on in this game. I uh, am, I heard some things about the ending of the game. Yeah. That uh, sound dumb. <laughs> All right. Whoa, shit. But also maybe an appropriate level of dumb for something at like the StarCraft II campaign. Okay. All right. That's kind of how I'm approaching this at this point. Yeah. Like if you are like trying to take this lore seriously, then maybe uh, that I would be... I gave up on that after probably, eh, I would say, in the Zerg expansion. I still held out. Still yeah, held that out. seemed like that was the point where it was like all the Kerrigan stuff was yes. like, all right, yes. this is. I held out some hope at the end of Wings of Liberty because they're like, you know, they turn her back into a human again. It's like, holy shit, man, like things are happening in the StarCraft milieu. And then she just goes and turns herself Zerg again <laughs> right at the beginning of the, the second one. So at that point, I was like, ah, whatever. All right. I don't even you guys... remember that. I don't even remember yeah. that being what happened. Well, it's several missions in. Yeah. Uh, but at that point, I was like, ah, all right, you guys just do what you're going to do. I kind of don't care. I'm sure it'll be dumb. You know, but at least, like, flashy. Like, they're, right. you know, they're dumb costs a lot of money in yep. CG render time. Sure. They built a lot of render farms to bring you that dumb. Yep. Uh, yeah, I've, I, you're not the only person I've, I've talked to who has said similar things about what happens later in this game. Uh, yeah, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if those specifics that I saw were even correct, but it was definitely... Is rapidly approaching critical. <laughs> we must a yeah. Seemed like some real dumb shit. That sounds awesome. I'm all in. Oh man, I'm just getting baked between these two bunkers. You don't have a lot of time no. left on this next sky shield. No, you better, you gotta probably do something. Gotta get this that. done. I've just kind of been throwing myself into the wall here. Now what? that's how I play real time strategy <laughs> games. <laughs> just make a bunch. Show of me a wall. I'll keep sending units yep. to it until I win. <laughs> it's been working pretty well so far. Yeah. Uh, and, and to be fair, like, like I'm whatever. I'm sure there's like obviously like better strategy you could employ, but right. that's not how I want to no, play. No, I want to just sit and build and fucking just go like. All right, I got this massive force. I'm going to stomp my way across the map and see what happens. Yep. Oh, I made it two thirds of the way through, and then everybody died. I guess I'm going to have to build some more shit now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of building more shit. One stabilizer still remains in enemy hands. We must make haste. Oh, what are you doing? Fuck you. Shadows. <coughs> ah. Check out my cannons. Is there still a StarCraft scene? Or I'm, I'm sure that there's still a StarCraft scene. I guess. I have no, I actually am totally not the person to ask. Yeah. I have no idea. Like, I guess. There must be. I mean, people, yeah, people still, totally still play it. There are it. probably I, people playing this game professionally for money, right? Oh, sure. Uh, there is an electronic sports league. <laughs> yes. An well, ESL, if I you will, built the, around 
StarCraft 2, right? I believe that's be. the case. I saw some people talking about the show matches at uh, BlizzCon and stuff like that. Although th that was probably as much to like kind of see what was going on with this game. Yeah, as, yeah. As what's going on in that scene. Uh, let's take another one of these real fast because these things these things tie into the uh, the ship metagame stuff. Get over here, dudes. Ah. Solarite reactor now. I am the voice of the eclipse. Hmm. What is there? One more? Alright. Let's go do this. Let's get this done. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. He says it all weird because he's a weird noble so psychic alien. Damn aliens, man. Speak better English, man. Damn. Who says it like that? Oh god! This is a bad place to be. <laughs> These aliens. Uh, do the resources that you use for those strikes uh, carry across missions, or is that just sort of a no, in mission this, build? It's this thing, it just uh, charges yeah. back up okay. constantly. Oh, I can't fight that guy yet. I you, really, you only have a couple of minutes here. I'll be fine. In fact, I'm even going to take this thing first. Okay. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> Our time is nearly gone. We must secure a stabilizer quickly. The final Solarite reactor is being warped aboard now. I will begin installing them as soon as possible. Oh, they're fucking up my base. All right, finish this. I'm not going to be able to make more units uh, after much longer. Intriguing. I serve. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> you have not enough minerals. I am here in the shadows. Oh man. <laughs> man. Did I actually fuck myself? <laughs> no. No, I win. Oh. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Friend Raynor, Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. This is Jimmy. I don't know who Friend is. Friend Raynor. My brother's name is Ken. Kenny Raynor. What do you think his mom's name is? Mabel? Mabel Raynor? Mabel Raynor? That's Mrs. Raynor to you. Yeah, no, this, yeah. It's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the keystone. I got then we will party. Seems our friends below had the same idea. <laughs> While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the keystone was taken. Oh, hey, who would have thought? My mama used to have a saying: when it rains, it floods. But when it rainers, it. <laughs> Friend Raynor. Yes. <laughs> nah, I don't have a. Okay. I don't have it. I don't right. have it. Okay. I'm getting intel. A Mobius Core evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. Two <laughs> kegs. <laughs> Those fuckers stole my tap. It's an ancient, an ancient cache of Keystone yeah. <laughs> has been discovered. Please visit it at your earliest convenience. All right. So finishing that mission unlocks the other aspect of the, uh, the, the kind of the meta game, the meta layer of the campaign. Mm. 
synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. I like how that guy has like a weird alien craggy beard. Yeah. That's how you know that he's the engineer. And all its systems. Excuse me, the phase smith. Oh, of course. Yeah, the, fa the fa yes. How long until you can bring its tactical systems online? The system analysis has begun, but the star is laying dormant for an eon. It will take time and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The Firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient hierarchy. I think this stuff looks really good. Yeah. Compared to what they've done in the past. They stepped it up. Of course, I mean, whatever. It's been five years since the first one. Sure. You would hope so. We will acquire what you need. Very well. You may begin augmenting the solar core whenever you... I, uh, I built my current PC for, like, the first StarCraft II release, actually. Oh, yeah, huh. And, and this is still running pretty well on it. So. Good on them, I guess. Select All right, so reviewing your options, Hierarch. Uh, this is basically you know, the, the the bar of ship abilities I had at the top. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, so obviously I don't have most of this stuff unlocked yet. Um, but you're basically by doing those bonus objectives, you're getting this extra solarite, uh -huh. and these things cost points. Uh, so like the the instant pylon spawn and the bombardment are free. Mm -hmm. uh, these are like basically better abilities. This is like a super fast chrono boost. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And so basically, that costs twenty-five points, so I can put in twenty-five out of forty that I had, yeah, uh, and buy that. Uh, this is what is this? Freeze uh, units in a field for 20 seconds. Mm. That seems pretty damn useful. Uh, but that's also 25 points. Uh, or I can stick with these free ones, and then you've got these sliders in the middle here, where this is just straight up, like, extra supply. This is just, like, fewer farms that you have to build. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can, I can just, and you can put those in in, like, five-point increments. So if you don't want to buy the abilities that you have access to, you can just fill these meters up. This, this straight up makes buildings build faster. Okay, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. it's like cool. I kind of would rather have these yeah. than this stuff so far, <laughs> uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, this seems like, a again, it's kind of like that other thing, like it's really flexible, you know? Mm -hmm. They're not locking you into the... Oh, okay, the, so you the, can kind of pull your points out yeah, if you I can, need to. Yeah, you can, you can, I can kill those and, and stick that there if I want. Okay. Uh, so yeah, once I get all these unlocked, it seems like, and plus you'll have a ton of points at a... a a certain point in the campaign, you know? Uh, yeah, assuming you, you're doing the bonus objectives, yeah. If you, yeah, if you keep doing the bonus stuff. Um, keep performing the bonus objectives. Press the I key. Uh, yeah, anyway, that, that I, I really like what they've done with the, the, the meta layer stuff here. Yeah, cool. Uh, in terms of letting you go back and, and change the decisions that you made. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's talk about the multiplayer. Okay. You, I am ready to talk about the multiplayer. You ready to say goodbye to Jimmy? Yeah, we gotta take these bastards out. All right. Led these Terrans to come under Amon's throne. Amon, he's the bad guy. Okay. He's the ancient evil. Running security at Doctor Narud's hybrid. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, do you actually want to see multiplayer? I mean, you know, I'll, let's do a skirmish or something like that. But let's like let's let's. I'll do you one better. Look at this weird shit. Did you know about this? Is this the Archon mode? No. Or, or what, like, it's, what is it, like a co-op, like two well, players play one base? Yeah, or? That, so I don't even know where you get to Archon. I haven't actually noticed that in here. It's right there, grayed out. Uh, Up. Ah, yes, okay, I don't know why. Maybe you have to have, yeah, you need two people in a party before to let you ah, select okay. that. Uh, no, this co-op stuff, I haven't messed with it yet, but apparently it's got matchmaking, so maybe we can see if we can get into it. Uh, this is almost like fighting game-ish. Because these characters all have different abilities. Yeah. Like, the, they have different units they can build, see? Like, so, like, you know, Rainer... Heroes, and, if you will. Kinda. Or, so, like, Rainer and Swan are both Terran, but they have different Terran units that yeah, they can build. Yeah. So you're picking, uh, like... You know, each character has specific abilities of their own, they also have specific units that they can make, and then, like, specific upgrade trees, so... Mm. I haven't messed with any of this stuff yet. Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> you would like it if I played Rainer. I, you know, I'm you not, play what you want to play. I, okay, uh, I might go with this guy just because I know the Protoss stuff better. Ah, fuck it. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. There's also a Kerrigan, obviously. Fucking uh, Zerg. Can I pick a mission? So there's random missions. You get bonus XP for not picking a mission. Void Thrashers. Temple of the Pass. Yeah, okay. I'll go random. Sure. 
Uh, I wonder if that was that XP per character, I guess? Well, there's, there's a big one next to Rainer, so I yeah, assume so, you yeah, level guess, each person up, right? I guess they do all have their own level, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd say just play on the default almost because it'd be easier to make sure... Well, whatever. I see if let's find out. Yeah, let's, say, let's see what happens. Then you can make it easier to just get into a match. Yeah. I have no sense whatsoever of how many people are out there trying to play this stuff. Well, I guess I found a game. All right. Cool. This is weird. This is kind of weird. Yeah. Kill Void Thrashers. Uh, okay. Kill Void Thrashers. Sergeant Fortress Hammer, must survive. Fortress must survive. All right. I can do Sergeant that. Kick Ass. <laughs> oh, Sergeant Hammer. Uh, Sergeant Hammer is the siege tank unit from Heroes of the Storm. Oh. You know, the tank. Okay. Yeah, the tank. Mr. Tank. Yep. He's referred to there. I think I think it's a lady that drives the tank. I think Sergeant Hammer is a lady. Ms. Ms. Tank. Yes, that's Ms. Tank to you. If you're nasty. I don't know. Mm. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, you know, it's multiplayer. You have to wait for everybody to load. People got slower hard drives. Yeah. Or maybe it's just going to shit the bed. I, we'll find out one way or the other at some point here, I imagine. Well, the music stopped. I feel like that doesn't bode very well. <laughs> Still got a mouse cursor. Mm hmm. The music kind of faded out, though. Yeah, kind of. Like, yeah, it, it was it like, it, like it just, like, dropped. Right. That definitely implies we've been sitting here longer than they expected us to, right? Yeah. Uh, mm. <clears throat> this guy's not behind an open gnat, so, oh. you know. Ugh. Gnats. That's some of my least favorite vocabulary of first-person shooting on consoles is yeah. their whole strict gnat, strict modern gnat, open gnat stuff. That what is a, what is a gnat? Network ad... Dress table. Okay. All right. So it's like how the router, router talks to all the other devices? Yeah, more or less. Okay. Uh, for Black Ops 3, I had to open... I had to forward a port on my router. There you go. Yeah. Uh, to get open NAT. Otherwise, I would okay. just have moderate NAT. Huh. I figured that was just like a setting at the router level, and then you didn't have to worry about it, but... Is that different from UPnP stuff? It's it's factored into it. If you're not using UPnP, you may have to do more stuff than just that. Gotcha. Uh, but, well, not to... Okay, forget it. Black Ops 3 has a nice thing where it actually said, hey, we tried to open this port. You should forward it. Yeah. Instead of just going like, I don't know. I'm like, all right. <laughs> indicate you must destroy all of the main... They've, have they redone some of the HUD in this game, even uh, in single player? Like, if, I don't it, think so. Because the, the, your robot lady showed up big there on the left, and I don't remember if that yeah, was in... I think that's always been there. ...episode one or not. not enough oh, man, I don't remember how to play Terran at all. This guy, well, this guy is fucking smoking cigarettes inside of his fucking <laughs> robot. <laughs> yep. uh, so... That's how you know you're home. And they say, in the rear with the gear. Mm-hmm. And this lady's just hanging out. Yep. Uh, you know what I... The one thing I hate about this game is that the hotkeys are all totally different between races. So, like, building a, what do they call it, a refinery is uh -huh. on R versus the assimilator is on A for the Protoss. Oh, that's that's dumb. And the extractor, I think it's an extractor, is on E for you the You just Zerg. hit G for gas. Right, right. I want, like, some standardization. And then G for gems. Right. Uh, you know, like, or the, how about just like be context sensitive? Well, I guess it can't be context, context sensitive because it's not like you're building on the resource for gems, right? But, uh, where's my other dude? But you think if like if your mouse cursor was over the gas, it would know you want to build a thing, right? An extractor yeah. or whatever. Well, well, I mean, you know, I can I can understand like what's the supply? Okay, supply depot is S. Gotcha. Like it, I don't know. I've I found it pretty hard to jump between factions because I only played the yeah. one in multiplayer. I just never got deep into the hotkeys. I can assign people to groups. Yeah. And then I can push one. Yeah, you know, I guess. Which, which means I assign everyone to group one, and then, every, except for the workers, and then, or it's like workers in one, combat units in two. Sure. That's it. That's uh, how I play. Right. You know, I'm, I'm probably being a little hard on myself, because this is casual, and who cares? Like, oh, can they not... Do the thing where multiple SUVs build a thing. They totally can, faster. can't they? Or maybe that's an upgrade. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you just can't do it. Maybe so. Like, that was in the first one, wasn't it? I think. Hey, I made Marines. 
Why are the Marines on A? Make more Marines. I'm trying. Huh? SCV ready. Uh. So what do we do? Just go here and kill? I guess. I, don't I know. guess. Right, can you see? Since it's co-op, can you look in on what the other player's doing? Yeah, he's down here. Oh, okay. He's hanging out. Yeah. He's making stuff. All right. Oh, I know how to play that one. Uh, what else can I make? Let's see. I got a couple barracks. Make an engineering bay. Uh, what kind of build order should I use? I don't know. Make a factory? Yeah, let's make a factory. Uh, make more Marines. Okay. I got like four of them. That's probably enough. Why would you ever need more than four of anything? Yeah, that's okay. How many Marines are in the Gears of War? There's four. That's, fair, that's How true. How many Spartans can you play as in Halo? Yep. Four. Uh-huh. <laughs> make a good point. Uh, what the fuck would you do with five space marines? It's true. It's entirely true. Oh boy. Uh, Not enough minerals. If these were Earth defending space guardians, you would only need three of them. Not enough minerals. Or maybe six. Orders <laughs> received. I made some stuff. Okay. Void Thrasher detected. Oh, hey, what's that? What, is it, what does that mean? That's uh, that's the thing you're supposed to kill, right? I guess. Not enough. Oh boy, that seems bad. It's thra Oh, it's that's Sergeant Hammer's. Oh yeah, okay. Huh. Thing. So oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's got a lot of hit points. It could be okay. I'm on it. You see if the, what happens if you go to attack the Void Thrasher. All right, I got like. What, seven marines now? Yeah, there you go, he's going. Okay. Oh, look at that wow, thing. Why'd you take a probe with him? The probe is dead. Oh, that looks bad. Huh. It doesn't seem to be too, whoa, No, that's, that's, you might want to move. Yep. Yeah. Micro. Yep. Your micro is hella sick. Totally. Check it out. I moved those guys. Look out. Now move those guys. Oh, God. Without you to micro those units, they're all going to die. Oh boy. Micro. Yep. Micro more marines. Okay, trying. I'm the marine king. Oh no. See what, see what you went and did? <laughs> I'm detecting an enemy attack. Moving towards us now. Hey, that thing's dead. Oh. In case you win. You, in case you were wondering, what else can I make? Vulture. Oh, what do Tech Lab and Reactor do? I forget. Siege tanks. I want siege tanks. A void thrasher has appeared. Oh, cool. I Seem mean, to be a lot of those. Can I make medics yet? What do I need to make? Oh shit! I should have made it. Oh right. Yes, that's how Terrans work. Totally. I'll slap a Tech Lab on here. Oh, right, you upgrade the buildings to serve different purposes, right? Kinda. You slap the upgrade on top of the building yeah, but it's not really, it to the side yeah, or whatever. It's yeah, it's technically yeah, a separate yeah. thing, and I can actually, you can actually you take can launch the, and, yeah. Yeah, so you can You can swap buildings around. But the the sidecars don't launch, No, right? they don't, so you sw you fly the buildings around and... You, you dock them to it. Yes. Exactly. Uh, give me a medic. I remember this game now. Yeah. Make more Marines. Yep, doing it. Working on it. How about a siege tank at the same time? What? Uh, What's going on? Oh god, I got an SCV just hanging out down there. Be in the rear, by the numbers. The doctor is in. Armed. Oh, they brought dragoons back. I don't know if you know what that is. It's those things. Yeah. Yeah. Those are from StarCraft One. I mean, like whatever. Oh, just, had they not been in two? No, time? no. Oh, they wow. they made stalkers, which are kind of similar. Yeah. But not really. Like, I mean, this entire like the theme of this <coughs> expansion largely just seems to be fan service. It's just like, let's just, just make a bunch of ridiculous battles. Like, the cutscenes are super over the top. Let's put every unit in here that people missed. Yeah, like, the yeah. Lurker is back in multiplayer for the Zerg, which was like a huge Brood War thing. Mm. Like, you got Dragoons here for Protoss. Like, it's just... It's just ridiculous. Uh... We could use some help here. Okay. Try it. Hey, let's kill that thing. Whoa, it's two! Okay. Oh! Ouch. What's up? You gonna get this better? 
Yep. Yeah, maybe if I rallied my guys up here, I'd have to keep going back for them. Let's probably kill this guy. Oh, shit. That's not good. I am activating emergency shields. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got stuff up here I could be using. Uh, all right. Oh, so it's a, a total of ten Void Thrashers have to be killed. Oh, Jesus. You've done three. Oh, this is going to take forever. Well. Maybe they'll start spawning in faster. I at least want to try using Rainer's, like, special ability mm. here. Why are these guys just hanging out? Oh, hey. I got tanks. Right. I should keep making tanks. I got a lot of resources. Armed and ready. Hey, I made more Marines. Yeah, you should make more Marines. Okay, working on it. Oh, there's some more Marines. Hanging out. It's like free Marines. Mm hmm. Go ahead. You want a piece of me, boy? Been waiting on you. Hmm. <coughs> Go ahead. Got another factory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, this stuff's, I mean, whatever, it's on casual, of course, it's gonna be easy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it seems kind of fun, though. I would play some of this with somebody who wanted to play some of it. Mm. Like, two-on-two, two, like, 2v2 StarCraft was always, like, a fun way to fuck around. Uh, when I got sick of just bombing out on the ladder over and over. Sure, sure. yeah. Ooh, oh. Um... So, like, the idea of that, but that was always literally just, you know, each person builds a base and try to kill the other two bases, right? Right, yeah, well, yeah. So, like, the idea of that with a little more structure to it and, like, a progression mechanic uh, could be kind of fun. I, uh, it just needs to be way harder than this. Mm. You got there are icons over there off to the right. Is that Are those the, the next to Void Thrashers? Mm, maybe. Can we just go? Oh, it's the Rift. So maybe when you get close to the Rift or expose maybe. the Rift, that's when they show up? Maybe they just spawn immediately. I'm just going to keep making marines. Y yeah. What if I made some marauders at the same time? Make more marauders. Would that work? Okay. Dude, I don't know. I'm going to try that. What, do you, what is this field you're in? Huh? Yep. I'm going to build Detecting like 8,000 supply depots. Prepare to intercept. There. Now I can make a bunch of marines. Yeah. Hello. A void flasher has appeared. There you go. Oh boy. <coughs> Our allies base is here. A void flasher has been slain. It's on the top. Okay. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. Oh man, I forgot to use the. Yeah, so it is. I don't know that tank's gonna get murdered. I got nobody here who can kill these things. Shit. I didn't expect to get attacked on casual. What if I make, like, a strike team? Okay. Everybody else will go do the thing that needs to be done. These are the last four. Yep. Armed and ready. These guys are going to go save my base. Nope. This guy did it for me. Allies, man. It's the beauty of co-op. I didn't even have to worry about it. But... Our allies are being protected. Now, are you going to do the same for him? <laughs> oh, it was, it was allies, not allies base. So whatever. Yep. Pretty much. Who was you gonna buy the number? Oh, where'd my other siege tank go? Our there it is. Objective located. Destruction advised. Ooh. Oh wait, what? Bonus objective. Destroy the Archangel. Where is that? So so, go? Oh, see it over on the right? On your mini map there? Oh shit, yeah. Our allies are being attacked. Oh, my gosh. 
Now you gone and done it. Oh fuck. Bad news. Where's my buddy? Is he handling the bonus objective? Oh, he is. That's a bummer. He just kind of stranded me over here. Well, there's a timer on that bonus objective, so... Oh, is there? oh shit, I didn't even notice that. Here, what if I do... Our allies are being attacked. Coming through. I can't build it. Like making barracks everywhere. Like the ugliest base I possibly can. Go, go, go. I'm forgetting these guys have to actually be able to walk out of these yeah. structures, though, and not just warp in wherever I feel like it. Alright, let's go do this. Go ahead. Still an RTS. Yep. Still gotta go back to your base and build shit once in a while. Mm -hmm. go, go, go. Uh, what do you think the chances are that Blizzard ever makes another RTS? Main objective under I, I mean... Attack. I don't know, man. What else are they gonna do? Uh, more competitive card games? They already have one. I they don't guess. need a second one. What, are you gonna make a space card game? Uh, oh, did he kill that thing? They're gonna make a StarCraft? Man. Man, I didn't even get to see the bonus objective. Oh, well. Uh, no, it's still it's still on. It's still not checked oh, off it on moved. your thing. Oh, oh. It, oh, it moved up here. Weird. All right. Well, that guy seems bent on doing it. So. Yeah, do it, man. All right. Maybe get more XP or something. Yeah. Slain. Oh, he's cool. taking out those guys too. Our allies are being attacked. Oh, shit. Wolf. Dude, don't finish the mission. Oh, dude, he's totally gonna finish the mission. I gotta go see if I can kill this thing before he. Our allies are being attacked. Oh, shit. Warriors now. Yes, sir. make enough marines. You probably should have made more. I know. Allies are being attacked. Is oh. that... Oh, okay. Yeah, is it gonna take off again, though? Bonus objective complete. Yay! How exciting. Yeah! <laughs> that dude's stoked. There's still three more void thr uh, thrashers. All right. Time to, it's time, to, this thing. It's time to wheel out the big guns. M is it Marines? Oh, oh. It's Jim Rayner. Intend to eliminate us. Templar. Yamato. Remember that? Yep. Awesome. Oh, he already dead. He's, he's already dead, though. You killed Jim Rayner? No, the dude is dead before oh. I can use the Yamato. Okay. Ah, uh, that was kind of bland, but whatever. It's casual difficulty. Yeah. I have to assume it would be a lot more exciting on an actual difficulty. No communication from that player whatsoever. Oh, he's had a couple things. Oh, did he? Okay. He said, he said GJ when I took out that bonus objective. Oh. Nice. Notorious. He left the game. It's nice, man. Uh, so what's the deal? Do I get XP? Uh, what do I get? What do I get? Oh, geez, man. Okay. All right, I got Fancy Airstrikes. Uh, next to unlock is higher attack range on fire bats. All right, this mode's all right, I guess. Hmm. That's kind of neat that it's in here. Yeah, that I don't seems know. like an okay idea. I mean, it seemed like there were only like five or six missions. Yeah, so, uh, you know, yeah I don't know how much of it I would actually play. Yeah. Uh, especially, yeah. especially since you're leveling every character up individually. Yeah. Uh, but it might be fun to mess around with for a little bit. It's also got that Archon mode, like I said, you know, it's just kind of two players playing the same base. Right, right. On, in, on the ladder. Yeah. All the standard shit, you know. Uh, they're doing this thing... Is it new units and rebalance oh, yeah, and stuff totally. like that? Oh, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Also, there's like that, I, yeah, like I said, the Lurker is back from yeah. Deserg, like there's okay. some, some other new units on All right. There. Yeah, all the all the stuff you'd expect for the online is there. Did their arcade? They had their weird arcade thing yes. with their weird modes, right? Yes, before we get to that, just, uh, I haven't messed with this stuff yet. Where is it? Oh, hello there. Uh, I saw it. Co-op missions, multiplayer. Uh, there doesn't seem to be one popping up right now, but they've got this thing going where there are these like little mini tournaments that are popping off all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, and it'll advertise them here. It'll be like it'll be like two v two tournament starting in forty eight minutes or whatever, and you could just like go get in on it. Uh, and I have no idea like how that stuff works or what you get out of it or whatever, but it's kind of neat. Oh, here's okay. So yeah, there's like yeah, look. Three round 1v1 tournament begins in 42 minutes. Mm. Uh, single elimination. I don't know what you get out of doing that. 
But, like, that's cool. If you're into that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, the arcade's been around for a while. Yeah. But... Yeah, here it is. I saw something in here that looked like Tron earlier. I mean, that thing says Dragon Ball Z All Sagas Beta. <laughs> Should probably just play that one. Or what is Mafia? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, Gridfall, that was it. Mm. That kind of looks like Tron. Should I check that out? What do you think? Fades a block, throws a bot. what? Disconnect the grid and the smaller side will fall, taking anyone stuck over there out. It's like Dig Dug 2. Oh god, I'm gonna have to actually like search and find a game for this, aren't I? Let's see if anybody's... It's featured, so maybe somebody's playing it. Yeah. Uh, I saw... I found a couple projects where people are like remaking the entirety of StarCraft 1 in this engine. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. It's actually gonna happen. There's people joining. Hmm. Seems like it might take too long. Please come and play Rumbling Run. What? That's what Beast Slayer says. One more spot free for Risk Action Edition. <laughs> it's been the thing I've thought about Risk all along, is if there was more action. <laughs> also, if it had like three exclamation marks. Yeah. It'd be way more exciting. Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't well, think this yeah, is all happen. right. But they've got their arcade. There's all uh -huh. the, the, the dumbass. weird custom stuff. All the dumbass custom maps, which spawned what is now the biggest game in the world. So who knows what might come out of this? Dota 3. That's, a, yep, that's the one. Dota 3 is in here. Uh, that's the I'm one. I'm going to go create a StarCraft custom game and call it Dota 3. You should do that. I'll call uh, I'll, No, I'll call it definitely. Defense of the Ancients 3. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely do that. I would play that. All right. Uh,. Yeah, this thing seems super solid. If you, like, you know if you're in for this thing or not at this point. Like, it's I, yeah, it's not yeah. that different from the other, it's, I think it's better. I'm having a better time with it than I did with the Zerg one. Mm. Um, but it's more of that. Yeah. So if you burned out on that stuff already, you probably are not going to find much to appreciate here. Okay. Uh, I, I just, I love all the, there's a bunch of little blizzard touches in this thing, though. Like... Like the fact that you can like change your background to like the stuff from the other games, you know? I think that's cool. It's like having a wallpaper in your game. Sure, yeah. Or like... Check this out. Uh, you can change the soundtrack in multiplayer to... Oh, the StarCraft huh. and Brood War soundtracks. It's like built right into the game, you yeah. know? Like you would expect that to... Somebody would have to mod that in or whatever. But if you want to hear the Brood War music while you're playing the ladder, like you can totally do it. It's, uh, it's neat. It's just a, it's a, a really, like, well-rounded package, you know? Yeah, it just seems like if they're going to send StarCraft II out, you know, put stuff like that in there, bring back the units that people totally, totally. wanted it's to see. Like, it seems like just pure fan service, like, everything from the mechanical side. Like, to, hey, if you stuck with StarCraft yeah, II this totally. long, <clears throat> A, you're going to really care about this stuff, and yep. B, thanks, yep. I guess, is probably what they're saying. Yeah, huh? so it's just, it's it just seems like a really good, solid, robust package. Do you think, do you think it'll ever... Catch back on in a multiplayer I way. Don't, I don't know, I, man. Yeah, it's. I, I think the world has just largely moved on from that stuff. Yeah. Which is crazy. What a weird. Yeah. Like yeah. for a couple of years there, it seemed like StarCraft II was going to be the thing, you know? Yeah. Uh, and then all of a sudden it wasn't anymore. <laughs> right. These but up, I'm these upstart mobas. Right. Uh, weird. weird. But weird. I'm I'm having a lot of fun with the campaign, and it's just it's just really heartwarming to see all this stuff brought together in one place, you know? Yeah. Cool. Even if this is the last StarCraft they ever make. StarCraft 3 is going to be six parts. Fuck. You'll see. All right. Well, get back to me in like 2026. 20, okay. We'll have a chat. All right. Bye, Jimmy. That was Jimmy. That was Jimmy.